hey guys welcome back this is Tarun again back with another fitness video so guess what you know I have kind of got a new room you know you know more of my studio where I can shoot these videos because I was getting a lot of queries from people that turn what's up with that wooden background that you have so I thought hey you know might as well just change it and make it a little more professional for you folks you know obviously you know this information is coming handy to you so I thought you know let me just take a step ahead and uh, take it to the next level when it comes to videos so that's one two uh, also I've been getting a lot of questions on my transformation especially my haters telling me Tarun what happened with that transformation of yours is it still on are you not doing it or you quit well by the way I don't quit uh, you know the transformation is still on you know I was experimenting with few diets I was experimenting with few workouts you know obviously when it's natural guys you know it takes time but hey you know I'm pretty much on track now I will be coming out with a video uh, the diet and the workout very very shortly on my website and also I would keep I'll start doing I'll reinitiate those videos that I was doing for transformation probably you know very very very, very shortly for you folks to follow so that's on the transformation side now comes the topic of the video what exactly I will be talking about today you know guys you know I want to talk about something which is very 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 serious serious for a fact that I get pictures of these local steroids from guys you know 20 year old guys 21 year old guys you know sending me pictures of these uh, uh, local uh, you know over-the-counter pharmacy chemist drugs that they can use uh, and asking me that Tarun, what's your take on it should I take it people in my gym are taking it my trainer is recommending it should I take it or should I not take it so guys in this video I'll be telling you three things that are available over the counter which means on your from your chemist that you should never take if some if your trainers try trainer try to tell you that take this it's cheap do not take it if somebody else you know your uh, you know fitness uh, expert tries to tell you that take it do not take it so what are those three things number one you know it's something called neurobol you know neurobol and the cost of neurobol of about 20 tablets is somewhere between uh, I think about 100 to 150 odd rupees neurobol is nothing but a stanozolol sort stanozolol is a steroid uh, and 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 the, uh, the better known as Winstrol uh, it has so one tablet has about 2 mg of stanozolol salt uh, this is something very very dangerous guys especially you know uh, a you're taking something which is uh, oral obviously you know and I have a different video plan for it you know from steroid perspective you know uh, which one is better or, or which one has more side effects orals or injectables so there's a different video coming your way on that but coming back to neurobol guys you know neurobol uh, I've seen people taking it I've seen these local bodybuilders take it because for a simple fact it's cheaper and because it's cheaper you know they really overdose it and overdosing because 2 mg of stanozolol won't work you know one shot of uh, uh, stanozolol comes with either 50 mg or 100 mg in an injectable form so for stanozolol to work in an oral form you typically have to take minimum 150 mg a day 150 mg you can imagine how many tablets you have to take every day you know for your body to get absorbed which is going to be insane amount of stress on your liver guys you know orals are very very toxic you know when it comes to steroid use and they can screw up your liver that's on the neurobol side that's one which is the number two drug that I want to talk about is Minabol now Minabol is uh, another drug which is an, again a stanozolol salt it's a little cheaper than neurobol but again has the same effect but again the side effects remains the same but it has another side effect linked to it which is uh, uh, shutting down your libido you know probably the second day third day you start taking it guys so please you know stay away from neurobol stay away from uh, 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 minabol and 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 standard, uh, minabol and neurobol because these things are you know orals are very easy to take because you know people have this you know phobia around injectables so what they do is they take solus and uh, uh, orals because you know they're easy to pop and you probably don't even know but guys orals have more side effects than actually injectables and I'm going to do a different video on it for you to get some perspective number three is ephedrine I don't friggin get it you know that ephedrine is banned across India across the globe and I don't know somebody shared a picture of ephedrine injectable shot with me which is available over the counter for rupees 25 asking me that Tarun people in my gym are taking this to lose weight and I'm like hey 
ephedrine is super dangerous ephedrine you know it in late 90s and early 2000 is one of the core reasons key reasons why people were dying of fat burner because ephedrine really really increases your heart rate and then taking an injectable version which means you know taking it directly into your bloodstream that will really screw up your heart man so guys please it's my humble request you know for short term gains and as far as gains goes you know if you're looking out for gains that hey taking this pills will get you all the gains no nothing orals by itself will not give you the gains guys you know and these are steroids hormones you know with very mild dose they won't do anything to your body other than screwing up your friggin liver and shutting down your testosterone of your body guys please understand this stay away from these drugs you know if you don't know anything about it you know just because they're cheap you're going to put anything into your system you know i've seen a lot of trainers do that because i understand they don't have money and they're preparing for a competition and as per them it's justified but if you're not preparing for any competition if you're not a model if you have little bit of money why to go down that route you know probably you know invest in good supplement invest in your good training program invest in a good clean diet and you will get there sooner than you realize it than taking this shit you know which is available over the counter and it, and you know, all these drugs are prescription drugs given to patients not for bodybuilders guys so get this into your friggin head so i hope you know this information comes in handy to you i hope this message of mine get gets into your head loud and clear so any one of you who have any questions around these three compounds feel free to reach out to me on my youtube facebook or even on my instagram and i'll be very happy to guide you not to take them so until we meet again peace